so so this uh, using this uh, three functions nullable first and follow uh, we have finally created this uh, table which is called as predictive parse table okay and the unique feature of this predictive parse table is that for a given non terminal which is represented as a row in this table and uh, for the given next token okay uh, i can decide what will be the production i should choose for parsing okay now this kind of uh, predictive parse table so the parser which is uh, which uses this predictive parse table is called as ll1 parser because because it is uh, ll1 so let me go through some of the terminology so parser that uses this predictive parse table where we use one token look ahead okay here you can see that i am just uh, considering what will be my next token and on the basis of that I am deciding my production okay so 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 the parsing technique that uses the predictive parse table just by looking at which is created by looking at what uh, only a single one token look ahead is called as ll1 parser okay so why ll1 so l is what it will be the uh, left to right parsing and another L corresponds to what is called leftmost derivation. So the leftmost non terminal is substituted. Okay, and third is one represents the number of tokens. I am looking ahead tokens I am looking ahead considered for creating the predictive parse table okay so So the grammar which results in uh, in a unique entry <coughs> in a given predictive parse table okay is called ll1 grammar okay here you can see that the grammar which we have uses has resulted in unique entry in every cell okay either it has an entry or it has no entry but wherever there is an entry there is uh, it is unique okay but suppose if I add another production to this grammar called Z is equal to D E. Okay. Then this will result in here. That is so 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 when my next token is D, I may choose the production Z as D or I may choose the production Z as D E. Okay. So that makes the uh, predictive parse table ambiguous because I don't know which production to choose. Okay, so in that case, so I can say that a grammar, let me write it another place. So I can say a grammar is called LL1 grammar if it results 
in creation of a predictive parse table having unique entries in each cell okay okay now there is another terminology so let me so suppose i have to look ahead two tokens okay i i may i may create a predictive parse table using one token but uh, but uh, but we may need uh, means uh, we can do a, we can create a predictive parse table by looking at k k tokens ahead okay so so a grammar is called llk grammar so what is a llk grammar so we have k tokens look ahead So while creating a predictive parse table, we look at k tokens, okay, ahead to decide which products to choose. Okay, so suppose for example, my uh, my non terminals are those x y z, and suppose my terminals are a b c, okay, then how a uh, suppose I am creating a l l two grammar, okay, then how the entries will be? what will be the columns of uh, this predictive parse table so suppose my x y and z and uh, so and the terminals are suppose a b c so i have only three terminals a b c okay then i have to take possible combinations of two tokens okay so that will be a a a b a c b a b b b c okay similarly c a c b c c okay so so you can see and for every possible uh, combination i need to decide which products to choose okay so you can see just by making the uh, making the uh, technique from ll1 to ll2 uh, the number of entries in the columns is uh, is exponentially increasing and okay and hence uh, creation of uh, so the complexity in creating a grammar which is ll2 ll3 or ll4 exponentially increases okay so but uh, currently in the industry people always use means programs to create this table and that is called as parser generator okay so it can take an arbitrary argument of k means how many tokens i need to look ahead and on the basis of that it automatically creates the table generator okay okay now, <clears throat> now as an uh, so so it, this completes the uh, parsing of ll1 parser okay now i'll give you a small assignment to create a predictive parse table for the following grammar so my grammar looks like this way and f is a so i have just three tokens one is called left parent one is called right parenthesis i have four tokens one is called plus operator and i have a single uh, terminal a okay so please try to create a ll1 predictive parse table for this grammar okay thanks